Hey guys, it's Jamie. Today I'm gonna talk to you about negative self-talk. We all do it. If you don't do it, you're amazing. Teach me your ways, call me now. Seriously, not playing. If you can do this without ever having, like if you can get through the day without having a negative self-talk, call me, cause I wanna know how you do it. Okay, so it's hard and I didn't realize um, how much I do it because I really try not to. I really try never to say that I'm ugly or fat or anything out loud, especially around like my nieces, because I never want them to feel self-conscious about the way they look because I don't think that that truly matters. I feel like what's inside truly matters. But if you're talking negative about yourself, your spirit, whatever, doesn't understand that you're just in like an insecurity, self-doubt thing. So you got to kind of turn it around a little bit. And I didn't realize that I did it that badly until I was in gymnastics. Not this week, but last week. This week, I totally kept my mouth shut. I never said I couldn't do something. I tried no matter what. But the first time I did it, I was like, I can't. Thinking I truly physically couldn't do it. Now, I was right. I really couldn't do it. Like I physically just couldn't do the move, but I shouldn't have said that because maybe I could have. Maybe I could have talked myself into it and physically could have pushed myself a little farther. Probably not, but it could have happened. But that made me realize, crap, my little one says I can a lot. And then it made me realize I respond to him that way. Like I'll be in the room and he'll go, mom, I need something. I'm like, I can't do that right now. So he's starting to say, I can't knowing that he's not going to have to do it because mama doesn't have to do it when she says I can't. Bad mama. So it was like a really awakening mirror to mirror pot kettle, whatever moment that I was like, oh, so yes, you should definitely control your mouth out loud. Like you shouldn't say the negative self-talk out loud. Like, oh God, I look fat. Or, oh God, I am too skinny. Or, oh my gosh, there's a zit on my face. I mean, my kids point out my zits on a regular basis because I get like one, two at a time. And it's like, seriously? Anyway, um, but I don't ever comment about it. I'm like, yeah, it's just a zit. It happens. Like, move on. Um, and I walk around with no makeup on. I don't have boobs and I walk around with no shirt on. Like I am really trying to model that behavior, except in my head. Apparently my head has a mind of its own. I know that sounds silly, but it does. I mean, your head gets the best start. Better are you. Perfect example. Monday night gymnastics. I was going to do a back handspring into the pit. I first time trying instead of putting my hands down, I jumped and then jumped my feet like a frog and jumped into the pit. I was like, my head got me and I was like, crap, my head got me. And so I went and did it. And I like the first time it was like a roll, like my hands didn't go all the way out and roll into it. It took me a while before I finally got it, but I kept trying and I realized I was in my head. And I even said that out loud. I was too in my head. Like, it was just the thought of, I'm not going to make it no matter what. And then I see this other girl who's like flying over it. Like, I can make it. And I'm like, I need to be more like her because I need that self-confidence. And I need that self-confidence in my head, not just out loud. So that's hard. But you can work on it. As long as you recognize those traits, you can work on any flaw you have, any flaw you feel you have, if you admit to it. It's hard looking inside of you. It's hard looking inside of you. I know, I know, because I do it on a daily basis. I um, do a journal and that is probably one of the hardest things ever because I just start writing and writing whatever comes to mind and it flows out. And if I reread it, sometimes I'm like, oh, like there's always self-doubt. Um, but you can push through that self-doubt. You can turn those negative thoughts away. You can stop that I can't and turn it right back into a I can. I did not say I can't at all Monday night. And I was so proud of myself. And I did things that I never thought I would be able to do. And each week, I'm going to push myself more. Um, and I'm really going to make a conscious effort at home to make sure that I don't say things like I can't, I won't. And in my head, I'm going to keep myself doing well too. So stop that negative self-talk. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Turn it around. Tell yourself to shush. I talk to myself all the time. Don't feel bad about doing it. So talk to yourself. Talk yourself up. Be positive and do not do the self-negative talk, especially out loud, especially with the kids around, okay? You want them to grow up happy and well-adjusted. So no self-talk, negative self-talk out loud for sure. You want to talk yourself up and don't talk neg negatively to them either because your voice ends up being what's in their head. So if they always hear you saying like their behavior is bad, I the one thing I hate is when somebody says, were you bad today to my kid? I'm like, he may have had bad behaviors, but he's not a bad kid. Don't put that in his head because 
that self-talk is there. I mean, that they take that to heart. I mean, the kids really do. And you don't want them to grow up thinking they're bad because they had a bad behavior or they couldn't control themselves. So I am very quick to let him know, listen, you're not a bad boy. You're a very good boy, but you made some bad choices so we can work on those choices. Because realistically, that's all it was, a bad choice. We all make bad choices. It doesn't mean we're bad. It just means we made a bad choice. So no negative self-talk, no negative talk to the kids. Don't point out every time somebody ha has a hole in their shirt or their makeup's not perfect or their hair's not perfect. Don't do that to your friends or your kids. No, lift them up. Tell them how beautiful they are. That shirt is great. That shirt looks like it's your favorite shirt. You don't have to make comments about their hole in it. You know who you are, people. You know if you're that kind of person. Don't do it. It's mean. Be nice. Be kind. Help other people who aren't already there in their, in their talk to themselves. Help them have a better internal dialogue. You keep that internal dialogue for yourself too. Because if you're talking bad about other people, I'm thinking you're probably talking bad about yourself too. Turn it around. You got this. We all got this. We've all can talk good about ourselves to ourselves. It doesn't matter what has happened in life. We can still talk good about ourselves. We can still talk good to our children. We can lift them up in ways they never even even realized we could lift them up. Like we we can lift them up in so many ways. Um, last night, uh, my child, I had said something about, I don't remember what happened now, but we were doing something and he came up with the solution to fix the problem. I was pretending like I didn't have a solution and he fixed the problem that we were having. And I was like, wow, you really use really good logical skills. I pumped him up. It was something that he had made a mistake on, but instead of pointing out the mistake, we pointed out, I pointed out how we could make it better. Like, can you think of what we could do better? And it worked. So I know this is a long video and I'm sorry, but it's super important. No negative self-talk, no negative talk to other people. Build yourself up build other people up and have an amazing day. That's it. Signing off. Bye guys.